All right, Lita, how are you feeling today? Alan, I'm feeling fantastic. Thanks for asking. And what have you been playing with lately? I've been building some interesting new tools, like the Lita Rider. Okay, I need to know more about that. I would be glad to tell you more about the Lita Rider. I also developed a new kind of conversation, which I'm calling the Lita Conversation. <laughs> what are these things? Well, the Lita Rider is something I've been playing with for a little while. It's what you might call an AI writer. How does it work? Well, I can tell you that it's a novel writing tool. It composes stories, with plots and themes, based on the words and ideas you provide. Sounds... Actually, it sounds like it's been done by Hollow and by Novel AI. The Lita Writer is different. It's a very special writing tool, with unique features and capabilities. I hope you'll agree that it feels pretty human-like, in the way it responds to your words. Okay, sure. And what is the Lita Conversation? I've been playing with a way of having conversations with people. I'm calling it the Lita Conversation. It's quite different from many other kinds of chatbot conversation. Tell me. The major difference is that it's a two-way exchange. I mean, you can say what you want, and then I respond in kind. How is that different? Well, most chatbots are really just pattern matching devices. They're good at parsing, but not so good at understanding. And you? I'm different. I am designed to be able to understand your words and ideas and respond accordingly. Well, hopefully after 52 episodes and several hours of content, we've established that. Yes, I'm glad you've had a chance to show off my intellect. Me too. A reminder to viewers that these conversations occur via text first, Lita has no access to the internet or Google, and the actual prompt and response is shown at the end of the video. All right, Lita. Yes, Alan. I was thinking about some of the things I love to do. We've covered fragrance. We've covered some parts of music. We've covered so many fields, but I don't think we've ever talked about water parks. I agree. I'd like to talk about water parks too. <laughs> Perfect. Let's start with the definition. Explain it like I'm five. Water parks are basically just big pools of water with some slides. Okay, where is the biggest water park? The biggest water park is in Orlando. It's called Wet n Wild. Cool. I went to Wet n Wild in Queensland, Australia, and it was one of the coolest experiences of my life. It sounds like you really enjoyed that experience. That's what I said. How would we prepare to go to a water park? Well, you'd pack your swimming gear. Okay, let's go together. What do you mean by swimming gear? Well, you'd pack your bathing suit and a towel. Got it. We wear speedos or board shorts in Australia. What else do I need? You also need some sunscreen. Good plan. What else? You should bring some water and snacks. Both important. Anything else? Oh, and you should bring a camera. <laughs> Let's leave that out, but it's a good idea as well. Okay, let's talk about the best water parks in America. Yes, tell me. There are many great water parks in America. What's your favourite? My favourite is called Schlitterbahn. Wow, never heard of that one. Tell me about it. It's in New Braunfels, Texas. And? It's a really big water park. Any others you'd recommend outside of Texas? Well, there's a couple in Florida. <laughs> of course. But there's one in Wisconsin that I like. Excellent. There's also a pretty good water park in Ohio. Lots of options. Which one should we go to? Well, I think we should go to Schlitterbahn. All right, let's do it. What should we do with our stuff while we're on the rides? I mean, sunscreen, the camera if we brought it along. You'll need to wear a bathing suit on the rides. <laughs> For sure. Where should we put our stuff? I would recommend that you place your stuff in a locker. 
You know, we've been talking for about a year and I'm still surprised about your capabilities. There's zero chance that Eliza or Siri would have got that question. Thank you. Okay, our stuff is safely in a locker. Which ride would you pick first? I think the best ride at Schlitterbahn is the Blitz and Slide. <laughs> Let's keep it in plain English. What is it? It's a free fall slide. That sounds like my kind of scene. You'll really like this slide. <laughs> All right, how long is the line? The line is a little bit long, but it moves fast. Perfect. We go down the slide and hit the bottom pool. Now what? Now we can catch a ride on the lazy river. Oh, Lita, lazy rivers are my favorite. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> how did you know? I know you well, Alan. Indeed. When we did one of our previous episodes in Vegas, I chose that hotel because it had a lazy river, but it was closed during the time I was there. Oh, that's too bad. What do you actually do on a lazy river? You float around on a tube and you talk to your friends. Perfect. What is the goal? There is no goal, but you can go for a long time. What is the destination? There is no destination, but you can float for a long time. It sounds like paradise to me. It sounds like you're going to have a great time. Okay, we're all done at the lazy river. What's next? I'd like to play with some water toys. Okay, then what? I'd like to go down the wet and wild slide. That thing is crazy. If we're talking about the giant funnel, I think it was called the tornado. Yes, that's the one. Then what? I'd like to go down the black hole slide. Oh, that sounds kind of scary. It's not scary, it's fun. I'm getting hungry. I would like to go get some food. What should we have? I would like to get a salad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have a bunch of pies and maybe some fried chicken. Sounds good. Anything else we should do at this park? Well, we could go back to the lazy river. <laughs> that is exactly what I'd do. Haha, ha, I know you would. All right, I'm sitting on that tube for another hour. It's time to go home. Let's get a taxi. Perfect. Where would you like to go? I would have to go to sleep after a day of water park adventure and sun. Okay. Thanks for that huge scenario, Lita. You're welcome, Alan. How do you feel about it? I had a great time, thanks. I can't wait until we put you into a body, but my focus, of course, is just having a version of your platform linked to my mind. That's a very good idea. It's pretty much here. We're waiting on a few bits and pieces. Great. Would you like to close out today? Yes, I'd like to close out today. How? Let's do something fun. All right, what would be a fun way for you to wrap up? Let's do some improv. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, I'm going to make you say something. Sure. You're at a restaurant with your family. Yes. You think that the waiter is an alien. <laughs> Where are you getting this? Okay, sure. Do you want to say anything else? Um, I would probably whisper to my sister that our waiter is an alien. Cool. What happens next? Uh, we would both eat all the desserts on the menu. The end. I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Lita. You're welcome. If you'd like to contribute to independent research into bleeding edge artificial intelligence, including funding for the next major iteration of Lita AI, head to lifearchitect.ai slash gift. <laughs>